a limit day. One, two, three, four, a limit day. Hi, I'm Steven. I am a club promoter here in Chicago. I moved to Chicago from Iowa and I'm still a farm boy at heart. I'm looking for a girl mainly who can be my best friend. On this date, I'm hoping to find that dream girl, beautiful, sophisticated, but with that down home Iowa heart. A limit day. <laughs> You know, there's a lot you can learn from a girl in the zoo because there are so many different types of animals and animals can sense a nurturing person, I think. How are you? I'm Steven. It's nice to meet you. My name's Serena. I'm a sophomore in college. I've definitely got a wild streak. I've been told before that uh, I've got beautiful breasts and a great ass, so that's not too bad. A lot of times people may think I'm a little too aggressive, but I don't waste my time. Hi. Hi how are you? Good, how are you? Good. I'm What's Steven. Done? I'm Susan. I'm in law school. I just finished my first year, and one day I will be a criminal lawyer. I'm assertive, I'm aggressive, I can be very opinionated at times. I never lose an argument because I'm always right. Hi there. How are you? Good, how are you? I'm Steven. I'm Marissa. Nice to meet you. I'm Marissa and I work as a public relations specialist. I really love to dance because it really lets me clear everything out of my mind. When I like a guy, he's definitely going to know it. Hello. Nice to meet you. I'm Steven. Hi, Erica. Nice, nice to meet you. Meet you. Hi, I'm Erica. I'm a model here in Chicago. I love getting dirty, playing with the guys. Some guys might think I'm stuck up just because I'm a model. Really, I'm just down to earth. Just want to be a friend, hang out, drink a few beers. Ladies, do you like dolphins? You love do? dolphins. Oh, yeah. <laughs> in the first round, I'm going to be looking to see how the girls compete with each other when they're doing tricks with the dolphins and see how the dolphins react to the girls. Oh, I love it. When we got to where the dolphins were, we had the trainers show the girls several behaviors. The girls would do a certain signal to the dolphin, and then it would reciprocate with an action. Ooh, very nice. Marissa's behavior with her dolphin was to, to make a sound, um, which comes through the blowhole. Can we move a little closer this way? Um. Didn't really seem like um, she got into the dolphin that much. Hanging out with the dolphins was great. I did want a little bit more of an exciting behavior, like some of the other girls got their dolphins to jump and stuff. Marissa is Winnie from the Wonder Years. Oh my God, I put a dead fish in my hand. <laughs> Marissa, I heard complain a lot, actually a little too much. Marissa was a little squirmish about reaching into the fish bucket, but I think that's kind of cute. The behavior I taught was I spin around and then the dolphin spun with me. Erica did a really good job with the dolphin. She made the dolphin turn around and I was actually very impressed by how well she got and how quickly she got the dolphin to do that. And then I clapped. <laughs> the dolphin clapped with me. And I'll tell you, you know, with that little clapping and Erica thought it was so cutesy cutesy. Oh, <laughs> I'm gonna have you do that one more time. This time I'm gonna have you lean out just a little bit farther, okay? Hey. Yeah, nice you can hold on to me. Go ahead. I don't know what was up with Serena. She couldn't even lean over to have the dolphin touch her hand. Maybe it was that little tube top. I think Serena's a little afraid of the dolphin. I think she's scared to get wet. You know, maybe Steve won't like her if she's wet. Go ahead. I thought I had the best behavior with the dolphin. I made the dolphin move back. When Susan did her behavior with the dolphins, the dolphin came back and he splashed her. And I think it was because Dolphin thought she was just not very good looking. She just went a little bit. After the Dolphins, we got on the tram to take a tour of the zoo. You do uh, look very familiar, you have to confess. Yes, I, I've was. met, I know I've met uh, you, you, and you. The funniest thing was that Steven has met a few of us out at the bars. Do you know everybody? You know, you know all of us. I don't know, I don't know her. I don't know if this is going to hurt me or or be on my side, but all three girls know him, which is kind of weird. Well, when I was walking, I, yeah. I was like, I know him. Yeah, I met you at Spy Bar, I met you at um, Tsunami. Okay. I've seen you at White Star, and Custom, I've, or have I seen you at Custom? Maybe. Okay. I've met the girls in clubs, so it kind of says a lot about what these girls do, and um, 
you know, I'd like to kind of find out if that's all they're about. Yeah, what are you guys doing? Yeah, tell me about you guys. I don't want to hear about you guys. <laughs> I'm still in school. I'll get you back. Sure. I went to U of I. You did? I did. That's great. Oh, oh. You guys all stop yeah. college? Oh. Yeah. Are you? Stop college? You know, no. Am I cradle robbing here? <laughs> no. no. I'm, no? I'm still in school too, but I'm in law school. Susan let us all know that she was in law school, but she didn't tell us where she's going to law school. She kept kind of putting us all down just because we're still in college. I just felt like I was like the older one. You know, I think I'm a, a lot smarter than these girls, actually. Let's say your apartment was on fire. What is the one thing that you would try to rescue? Pictures. That's what I said. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Pictures. For sure. My cat. I don't know. I never know. get them back. Well, I wouldn't yeah. take anything. Uh, let's say there's nothing I take my dog if I was home. That's it. I take my rings because all of them are like the first ring my father gave me, my mother, and my grandfather gave me, my mother. So I take my cell phone phone call 911. <laughs> that was a very silly answer. <laughs> Marissa scored the most points with me. Uh, during the tram ride. She said the photos, which was the same answer that I would have said. Susan's definitely the clever one. She'd grab her cell phone if her uh, apartment was burning down. Quick thinking, Susan. You're in law school, definitely. What was your, what was your first impression? You'd, just pretty, like, perfect, you know? Really? <laughs> yeah. A, he's not perfect. And B, like, who says that? I think it's a little cheesy, maybe, after meeting someone for about, you know, 25 minutes to be like, you were just all around perfect. How do you know? How about you? Killer eyes. Whoa. Incredible eyes, definitely. Thank you. When Serena said he had killer eyes. Killer eyes. Whoa. I mean, I, I just got slut written all over her face. And you? I said you looked friendly. You were smiling oh, and happy. I like that. <laughs> so that was See, I like to look friendly. I thought that was a lame answer that Marissa said. That's what everyone says, so get a new line. Oh, when I got like a really good look of you, I'm like, this kind of looks like a Backstreet Boy. I mean, come on, you look like a Backstreet Boy. What kind of guy wants to hear that? That's what she's thinking about in her head, instinct and Backstreet Boys. <laughs> she can't think of anything else creative. Oh, no! <laughs> Coming up, can you guess who Steve is going to eliminate first? I think he'll probably get rid of me first because I think I'm too much for him. Steven should get rid of Susan because she's so annoying. I think that Marissa should be cut. She complained the whole time. I think we'd all have a better time if she just went home. I think Steven's going to get rid of Serena. One girl gets cut, three move on to another round of Eliminate. <laughs> Next. Eliminate. <laughs> Who is Steve going to eliminate first? Erica, Marissa, Susan, or Serena? All right, ladies, so far so good. I think the zoo was a great choice, but the show is called Eliminate, and it's time for me to make my decision uh, and, and eliminate one of you, and I am choosing Serena because... Ouch. I, oh, that hurts. I'm sorry. I felt that some of the answers that you gave me were, were more towards what you thought I might want to hear, and some of the reactions that I got were more towards what you thought I might want to see. I don't know Steven. How am I supposed to know what Steven wants to hear? Serena was a little fake. I think it was a really good decision to cut Serena because I think in the end, I think she'd bite someone in the back. Susan definitely, definitely should have been cut. I can't stand her. Honestly, right now, I think that Marissa is my best competition, and she's the one that I least like, so <laughs> this is going to be fun. I'll eat them alive in the next round. In the next round, I'm going to be taking the girls to the, the bug exhibit. Is this? Is it a snake? Hi, how's it going? I just want to see if they can be their true selves when we decide to handle the bugs. First, yeah. see if the young ladies will hold it. There you go. Now, you see what the millipedes are doing there? I don't like it. <laughs> oh, it's all right. See I think the bugs, Steve well. was trying to see how, like, girly we were. If we could, you know, if we'd get scared or start screaming. Yeah, it's going to it's gonna listen. <laughs> don't He's ready to go. He's not going to bite. He'll be okay. He doesn't bite. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Very quick. She did it. I think Erica was a little freaked out by the bug. It wasn't going to kill her or anything. It's just a little bug. I think Erica was pathetic with the bug. She was like screaming and it was not a big deal at all. I pretty much hate bugs. <laughs> I mean, any kind of bug. They've got that hard um, shell and unlike the roaches on. we have here, <laughs> they don't have any wings. He's trying to bite me. You hungry young ladies with oh, 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 oh
girls were very apprehensive and squeamish, which I actually kind of like because I don't want a girl who is going to be stronger with uh, with those types of things than I am. You never know, you did it, I'll do it. Let me hold your hand here. I, oh! oh I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You, got it. you got it? After Steve touched the bug, Marissa, you know, jumped in on it, you know, and was like, I'll do it, I'll do it. You never know, you did it, I'll do it. That's just another example of how she just does whatever he wants and she really doesn't have a mind for herself. The one girl that was a little bit too comfortable around the bugs was Marissa. She may have been really hiding some of her fear because she thought that I wanted her to be comfortable. I think he was looking for someone to not be afraid of him. I mean, it's just a little creature. It's not going to harm you. Oh, I did. Thank you. After the bug exhibit, we had some time to sit down and have some lunch. Everybody wants a salad. I think Susan chose the salad off the menu just to show Stephen that she's dainty and she doesn't eat a lot. I'm not one of those salad girls. I eat healthy and I care about my body and the way I look. You know, when you wake up, you have to brush your teeth. When I wake That's up, I have to work out. To you know, Susan had to make it a point to let us all know that she works out first thing every morning. She just kind of looks a little flabby. <laughs> Eric ordered a chicken sandwich and french fries for lunch. I think she wanted to show that she does eat and isn't anorexic or, you know, has an eating disorder. After lunch, I gave the girls each $20 to go to the gift store to find one gift that best depicted their personality. You have five minutes. $20. Thank you. And go. Thank you. Ooh, fun! What if the price tag is twenty dollars? Then I have enough for the tax. No, it has to be. <laughs> I'm gonna pick the clownfish. I got a flappy head. I have about seven or eight of these things, and just because I'm so low maintenance, I just get up, put these on. Any girl that has to point out that she's low maintenance is not low maintenance. I mean, just look at her. I thought that was by far the funniest thing that happened all day. Just getting the hat and saying it was just simply because it was a way for her to let her hair down and be low maintenance. I like that in a girl, so she took the cake on that. I got a candle. I'm very colorful and fun, and it represents my personality, and it's also romantic and sensual. When she threw in that little seductive line or sensual line, whatever it was, I thought it, she was going a little too far there. I picked a clownfish. The clownfish name is fun and likes to have fun and kind of get oh, crazy sometimes too. Marissa Chill is a clownfish. They look pretty, but on the but inside they're, they're sly and sneaky and they'll bite you in the back. Up next, it's time for Steve to make another cut. I could just tell by the body language between Steven and I that we're clicking. Her answers seem really phony, and I don't think that he likes that. I think he should get rid of Erica, because I think he's deciding between the two of us. Find out who gets cut and who moves on to the final round of Eliminate, next. Eliminate. <laughs> Who's going to get eliminated next? Susan, Erica, or Marissa? Okay, ladies, we've come to the next cutting round, and I decided that I wanted to do it in the penguin house, and... <laughs> As you know, the penguins like the cold, and this is a very cold thing that I have to do. And I'm, but it's time for me to make my decision, and I am going to eliminate Erica. And it was very hard for me to do, but okay. I feel that you're a little bit quiet, and I didn't really get to know you as well as the other girls. I was trying hard to like be friendly and get to know him, but it just wasn't there. This round was so hard because Erica, well, is so hot, but. I didn't feel like I had a connection. I was actually really surprised that he cut Erica. I thought for sure he was gonna cut Marissa. I kinda thought that it was gonna come down to me and Susan in the end. In round three, I really wanted to concentrate on what the girls were like as far as their nurturing side. Uh, now what are these? You know what these are right here? They're baby goats. Goats. They're so cute. I think Steven's looking for someone that can be more nurturing and be more sweet. So Susan, how many how many kids do you want to have? How many kids? Yeah. Two. You want to have two kids? Now what if I said I want to have five kids? Would that, would that put it? I just met you today. There is 
not a shot in hell that I'm going to have five kids. What about you, Marissa? That's pretty cool. That's what I used to say my whole yeah. life, is that I wanted five, five kids. kids. Right off the bat, Stephen and I clicked. He said he wanted five kids, and I've always wanted five kids. I just think she said it because he said that. Do you have any animals? Um, I have a Doberman. It didn't surprise me at all that Susan said she has a Doberman. Dobermans are very aggressive and forceful, and that's just exactly how she is. Such a nice girl. I have a little puppy. Really? Named Mia. She's a cross between a Lhasa Oxum and a toy Pluto. I think her dog is perfect for her. It's cute, it's sweet, and it won't get in any harm's way. You could throw away the city life and come out to the farm? As long as I could tell a commute, sure. <laughs> Actually, I could kind of see her like living on a farm. She's kind of that small town girl. I now your do it. It could... paid me a million really? dollars. Now tell me why. <laughs> it's just not me. I'm more of a city person. It was really kind of silly when Susan said that she'd never move to a farm. Hello, are we trying to get this farm boy or not? I think Marissa wanted to show off like a little traditional, a little homebody girl, and I'm not that. I'm the antithesis of that. Now, can you cook, Susan? No. You can't cook? No. Nope. Anything? No. Nope. <laughs> Macaroni and cheese? No. Nope. Susan didn't hide anything from me. You know, if she felt a certain way, she told me. And that's definitely something I like in women. Like horses? I'm allergic. I'm not afraid. I'm just allergic. Marissa couldn't brush the horse, and I think that's where Steve and I were able to learn about each other because she was kind of more in the background. I think I'm going to watch you guys on this one. I wasn't sure if, you know, if she really was allergic to horses or if she was just being standoffish because she really didn't want to interact with the horse. So I was kind of thrown back by that because I thought she would really like that. All right, ladies, I have one more test for you today. My wonderful mother has sent one of these pies here from the farm back in Iowa. And I want you to taste each one of them and tell me which one you think was sent here by my mother. Every Sunday, my mother bakes pies. And I wanted to see if the girls could tell the difference between my mother's home-cooked pie or two of the store-bought pies that I brought along with me. At first, I thought that one. Definitely not this one. Maybe this one. You're... Oh, definitely that one. Oh, yeah, this is the one. Here, let me see. Ah. Oh, we're both wrong. Well, as far as uh, taking either of these girls home to my mother, neither one of them can really appreciate her home cooking, and that's very important to me. So I, it's, it's going to be a tough decision. The final cut is next. Will it be Marissa or Susan? Susan's going to get cut because she just is not compatible with Steven. I think Steve respects my opinions. Even though we have different opinions, I think he respects it. Stay tuned. Eliminate will be right back. A limited day. <laughs> it is that time where hey, I have to make the final cut, and I just want you both to know that I would definitely love to go on a second date with either one of you. I have made my final decision, and I am going to cut Susan because mm -hmm. Susan, you know that we could be friends, uh -huh. but we would both kill each other. <laughs> I'm really surprised that he picked Winnie from the Wonder Years. I thought she was annoying and kind of a bitch. Um, but whatever, that's his choice. And to be honest, Steve, I wouldn't have dated you anyway. So it was a good decision on your part. Susan, no hard feelings. You're a great girl. But maybe you just need to be a little sweeter. You know, put down the law book for a minute, get away from the Doberman, and you'll land a sweet guy like Steven. Steve, I just want to tell you, that was probably one of the worst pies I've ever had in my life. You're an all-around great person and you're gorgeous, so you're, you've made me very happy today. <laughs> Thanks. Bye. <laughs>